Hey everyone, Mike here from Mikey Reviews. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to identify the difference between a genuine and a counterfeit Sony NPFZ100 battery, but also the BCQZ1 battery charger, which is obviously for the Z type batteries, as we've got here. So unfortunately there are many counterfeits on the market and a lot of people unknowingly actually purchase the, the counterfeit ones which is inadvertently supporting the, the criminals who make them in the first place. But with the counterfeit ones you're also just not getting the same quality as the original products. First of all the, the materials that they use just are a lot cheaper, they take shortcuts etc and you know in, in turn that could uh, make the product unsafe whether it be for you directly or the product that you're the equipment you're using it with. With the manufacturer they've obviously got you know strict guidelines that they have to adhere to so that by the time that the product reaches the consumer that it should be all safe for them to use and obviously isn't going to damage their equipment and most cameras will have in the warranty if you uh, have an issue because of using a counterfeit or a non-branded battery, it will void the warranty. So you end up with a very big repair bill or worst scenario, you have to buy a, you know, a new one, which is not something that I would want to do. I wouldn't be able to afford that. So I'm glad that I caught on that this was a counterfeit. So my first tip really is down to the price. If it looks too good to be true, it probably is. I know that is a, a boring saying, but unfortunately, you know it, it really is true and the original battery costs about 65 pounds the charger and eye watering 85 pounds that's 150 pounds just for having a spare battery and uh, a charger to charge your batteries with uh, whereas th these two together cost me 50 pounds which should have been a red flag but personally i thought that there was a potential just you know a sale you know places have sales and uh, i thought i was getting a good deal it turns out I really wasn't. Uh, the the second thing is just buy from a reputable um, retailer, be it in the store or you know online, uh, somewhere that is you know known for for selling official products. So with Amazon, personally, when I bought these, I made sure that I bought them directly from the Amazon's own stock rather than a third party seller, because anyone can sell on Amazon. Uh, obviously, eBay would recommend avoiding that altogether. There's way too many similar listings with the same format, similar pricing. They're probably all counterfeit, though I can't for sure say that they all are. Um, so, you know, places in, like in the UK, Jessup's, Wex, they're two reputable uh, camera uh, retailers. And in the US, you've got Adorama. Um, but that's, that's just to name a couple, obviously, there's much more out there. Right, so with, with those tips said, let's get on to um, comparing the two together and see the differences. So with the battery, it actually came with a um, quite a reasonable looking Sony branded packaging. So it looked genuine, but don't let that fool you. Uh, zoom in. Right, so the good thing when it comes to the, the batteries is most people will already have a battery, obviously for the camera. Um, so and they you know they, they're getting a spare one so the best thing is to compare them both together and that way you can actually see all the little inconsistencies that will you know confirm whether it's a counterfeit or not the first thing that I saw or noticed is the color difference so if I have it at this angle you probably don't really you can't really see the difference in color but if I just drop this down a bit you can see that the official Sony one is a nice black whereas the counterfeit is like a it's more of a dark gray so yeah not consistent at all then we have the little hologram up the top here so with the Sony one it's it's a really nice clean look there there's no uh, imperfections it's proper like flat all the way across with the counterfeit you have these little indents in each corner I don't know if they've kind of stacked the stickers on top to make a holographic effect or something or I, I don't really know what they've done with it but yeah it, it doesn't look right that's not a, not a clean uh, look there um, and the other thing as well is it reacts slightly different to light and there's a bit of a, a different color, but I'm not sure if the, the camera's really picking that up. So just have a good look with, with, uh, with them too. If something doesn't look right, then it probably isn't. Then we have the rear. Oh, let's flick it this way. So I've seen on some forums that the housing around the pins um, were a lighter gray on the counterfeit one, but actually um, these are the same color at least to me anyway. 
for the, that one might be a little bit darker, but very, very similar um, in, in color there. The official one has more of a black background and also the text is very sharp, really easy to read. Whereas on the uh, unofficial one, it's uh, a gray background and also the text is not as sharp. It's quite soft looking. Um, and then finally, if we take a look in the bottom right corner, we have, uh, this might be like a little serial number of some sort. On the official one, there's actually a line going through the text. So it's almost like it's just got the outline of the text rather than it all filled in. With the counterfeit one, it is all filled in. You can see there, it's also a little bit bigger. So example one, can you see? And then we have the fake one. Yeah, so they are the, uh, the, the main differences with the battery. And finally, the chargers. So the initial thing which made me suspicious with this is that the counterfeit one came in this cheapy bag. The original one should come in a branded box. So that's a, a first red flag. The second thing was I noticed immediately that they didn't feel the same. So the texture on the original one, it's almost like a subtle roughness to it. So just put your finger across and if it's quite smooth, then that's a, uh, a red flag right there. Secondly, the text. The original one should have a nice clean silver look. So you can see right there, it's a nice silver and including on this text here. With the fake one, it's almost like a uh, like an off-colored silver, a little bit yellowy actually. If I put them both together, you can see you can actually see the difference. Depending on the light, it's quite quite yellowy. The other thing is the charge LED light, and I'm gonna show you an example. So first of all, we'll go with the original. I'll put an original battery in as well. So when I plug this in. There we are, a light comes on. So this is a very um, subtle and dim orange color. So the there's not much saturation to the, the orange and yeah, not very bright whatsoever. So that's gone off because this is fully charged, but hopefully you had a, a good idea of what that looked like. Then if I go to the counterfeit one, when I plug this in, the LED, will be a much deeper orange and it's a lot brighter. The other thing to mention as well is on the back. So this is the original one, this is a fake one. Much more text on the uh, on the left there. Yeah, just not much on this one at all. So you got made in China up here. This is made in China, just once again, faded backing. The, the text is just not sharp. Yeah. Totally different on the back. And that's it for the video. So hopefully it has helped. If you've already purchased some and there's too many red flags for it being counterfeit, then get it sent back ASAP. Um, alternatively, if you're looking into buying them, you know, like I said, go to a genuine retailer, pay that extra money because in the long term, it'll be worth it. Don't go cheap and then uh, have the potential of, of ruining your camera. It's just not worth it. So yeah, thank you for watching and I hope to see you on my next one.